And fortunately for us, due to recent activities, we have lots and lots of string, which is, of course, the limiting factor when it comes to making large backpacks. So I'm pretty much done sorting, but I wanted to cut to this part just to sort of highlight what's going on here. So you'll notice that I made an anvil and I have used it once and you'll notice that I can actually rename uh, backpacks which was sort of the plan from the beginning for only seven levels and that's just just really really cool. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is given uh, 128, 140 leather here and uh, 192 plus 30, 222 strings. I'm gonna make as many large backpacks as I possibly can. These guys are mad and so it, it just sort of further confirms the point that I made that given a certain amount of time, hostile villagers will respawn. So if you ever happen to see a message in your chat that says everyone from a village has been destroyed, the chests are all unlocked, go get those chests as soon as you can, unless you are confident that you can kill all the villagers a second time or a third time, and obviously with our ultimate sword with these ridiculous statistics I wasn't too concerned but it is useful to know how that works. The way we have to make a big backpack is we have to create bound leather which takes I believe seven string and seven um, seven pieces of leather. So a big backpack requires eight pieces of tanned leather, and each piece of tanned leather requires us to smelt one piece of bound leather, and bound leather requires seven string and two regular leather. So seven times eight is 56. So we need 56 string, and two times eight is 16. We need 16. 56 string and 16 leather for each big backpack and we have to smelt all of that. Oh, 31, 31, are you serious? Can we just have, do we have two more string somewhere? Do we have two more, do we have two more string somewhere? We, we do not, do we? No, nope, we don't. All right, well, we have 16 tanned leather from the first furnace and 15 from the second furnace. Which means that if I deposit seven of these here, uh, we can make three large backpacks. Uh, big backpacks. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, whatever you prefer to be called is just fine with me. Now. I do have, uh, not here, I do, nope, uh, nope, uh, yes. I do have some dyes that I can use, so let's do a red and a black and a yellow, and I know that I've forgotten this several episodes ago, and someone is likely to have scolded me severely for it by now. Definitely deserved blue. Obviously, we can dye things with lapis. I don't know what I was thinking like like nine like eight or nine episodes ago but no matter no matter at all so let's go ahead and color these things uh, let's see we'll make a big red one yes and we will make a big uh, blue one and we'll make a big yellow uh, which I believe are all the primary colors red blue and yellow and then orange Green and purple are the secondary colors. Hooray, colors! Yay! Anyway, so what we need to do now is actually name these things. So I have an empty big backpack here, armor and shields. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and put that in the anvil. and name it armor hang on hang on armor um, what about special characters and 
shields. Enchantment costs seven. Oh, I love it. Armor and shields. Boom. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill this one with armor and shields. Weapons and tools. Enchantment costs five. Why does it cost fewer levels? to enchant a blue backpack than it does a red backpack. I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, I just triggered something in the chat that I don't fully understand. Not a big deal. Let's keep on going. Again, the, the, the small red one takes seven and the big red one takes seven, but the big blue one only took five? I'm not, I'm not understanding here. Uh, anyway, but it's gonna be a long, long time before we completely fill up the food backpack, if we ever do. Millionaire and essences. Enchantment costs seven. Building materials. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, sorry. All right, uh, there we go. There we have it. And now, I suppose this big yellow one will be for mob drops. Boom, except for the bag here, because you can't put a bag inside a bag. Uh, you can put a bag inside a backpack inside a bag, and a backpack inside a bag inside a backpack, but you cannot put a bag inside a bag. So, <laughs> Shall we go deal with these guys who have been trying for a long time to kill me? Ow, ow, hey. You guys, you realize this will be the third time that I have destroyed your village? That, oh, hang on. Uh, keyboard shortcuts froze up. Okay, there we are. Wow. All right, so. We are officially done with this village and we are also done sorting everything. So I wanna go see what this is and then we're gonna check that out. Oh, that is a big king slime? King slime. Did you jump off the slime island? I guess so. I'm gonna assume you're hostile. That is a big freaking slime. You are, you're angry. Oh my goodness. Stop, stop. What are, what are these things? What are these things? Gelatinous slime, king slime frying pan. Uh, okay, what do we do with gelatinous slime? We make congealed blue slime. What do we do? Well, hang on. Uh, with the chisel, we make slime brick, bouncy. Uh, okay, that sounds pretty cool. With sand and dirt, we make slimy mud. Okay, and oh, so we can use this instead of like the vanilla slime balls to make sticky pistons and magma creams. That's cool, but oh, or dictionary, wait, recipes, so can we smelt a, wait, this isn't smelting, it's, we can convert a gelatinous slime into a vanilla slime ball. Uh, okay, that could prove to be useful. So what can we use a congealed blue congealed blue slime for? Uh, we can use it to go back and make slime balls. Okay, so the answer is it's not that useful, to be honest. Uh, which, seriously wolves? You know what, I realize I just, I, I had forgotten our dogs. I had forgotten the dogs. Uh, give me one. Ow! Can you- Hey! Hey! Really? You guys, this is the fourth time we've done this. Are you kidding me? Sorry, cow. Um, it's not your fault. Just need your leather and your food, to be honest, so... Are these my- are these my dogs and... Wow, I lost- I lost my dogs. I might have to go... Dang it. I think the last, there's a slime. Hey, what's up? Hey dude, hey little slimes. Thank you for your slime balls. 
so I have installed the uh, the I have installed Jerry's mod, but to be honest, I don't. The idea being we can use the slime or Jerry, oops, or Jerry's sword and Jerry's armor. But to be honest, with the ultimate items, I don't know that we're going to need to actually use the Jerry items. So I don't really, uh, I don't know for sure. Anyway, I was going to try and find my wolves, which, hang on. I think they might be gone, which is extremely sad, and I don't really want to think about it. Okay, moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. We're going to have a snack. Don't punch me. Don't do it. Really? Are you ser What? Oh, is it a kitty? It's a, It's one of the sand kitties? Is that what it is? Why is this happening to me? I don't, uh, oh crap, Infernal Creeper just teleported? What? Or did he despawn? Uh. Okay, well, let's continue on our journey and pretend that didn't actually happen. So next is this sort of, we had picked out a like a gray stone area that we didn't fully understand right here just on the other side of the battle tower from us so I guess it's gonna be pretty small that's also an interesting noise okay 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 um, let's just keep moving let's just keep moving ow dang it are you serious Hey Slime, what's up? Hey Chocobo, what's up? Oh, you missed, didn't you? Yeah. That's because you're terrible. Okay, so this, oh boy. Um, I see gravel, and now I'm a little suspicious that I've stumbled upon a trap. So let's go up here. Nope, this is not a trap. I think it's a function of the ruins mod. All right, so we've investigated this sort of stone area, and it's cool for being ruins, but it's not, there's not a lot we can do with it. So let's head down into the snow. We're going to go basically directly southeast, and we will. What? Anyway, um, we are going to take out the ice battle tower. Yeah. All right. Um, you know what? I remember this is where I had put the dogs, and now they're... Dang it. You know, maybe it's just a bad idea to have pets, given this collection of mods, because maybe they're just sort of destined to get destroyed. Holy crap, an infernal slime. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's interesting to know that an infernal slime, when you defeat it, does not break into a bunch of smaller infernal slimes. It's just, uh... I guess that means there is a chance that if you kill a large infernal slime that you will get little infernal slimes, but it is not guaranteed. Uh, that's cool, actually. I like that. Yes, skeleton, I hear you. Yes, zombie, I see you. Thank you, spider. Yes, goodbye. Cow, sorry. Wrong place, wrong time. Just like everyone else. And wolf, I... You know... I would want to adopt you and feed you, but... Given what happened to the last wolves, I don't... I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think that ultimately you may be better off fending for yourself. So no hard feelings. It's just, you know. Hey, Creeper. Hey, Creeper with hat. 
Breadfish hat, yeah. Hey, skeleton. Hey, cow. All right. All right, we're getting there. I see the, uh, on the mini-map there, you can see the, boom. Holy crap, two ice battle towers? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Two ice battle towers. Which one shall we... Now, they're both on the mini-map, right? Because I can use this to sort of confirm the theory that that's too much. Here we go. Yes, this one has a blue outline, and this one has a blue outline. So, um, gosh, where shall we go? I think, well, I don't have chunks generated over here. I think it makes sense for us to go due east and take out this ice battle tower, and then we can sort of make a trek on down to these things that look like ruins, and this, the also kind of looks like ruins and then another ice battle tower and then maybe a village or more ruins and then more ruins and I guess it kind of looks like a cemetery to me and then snow temple and snow temple I think that makes I think that makes sense so I think we're gonna go due east and take out that ice battle tower that we see in the distance there I think we'll go for that one first and I should actually eat. And then we will make our journey to the southwest. <laughs> 